Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Axler, and I'm here again today with another video in our Polaris tutorial series. And in this one, we want to introduce some of our math features. We can actually create math in both Nimeth and UEB, and we can also calculate it in our calculator using Nimeth, UEB, and Computer Braille. I'm going to open a document in the word processor. So right now I'm starting in the main menu and I'll press W to open the word processor. Top of document. And now we have a blank document. The first thing I want to show you is how to choose which type of math you want to use, Nimeth or UEB. So I'm going to open the menu. File F down menu and I pressed F2 to do that I'm going to press enter on file new word processor W backspace and menu item and I want to open the settings dialog so I'm gonna move down new F open save save print P settings E dialog enter E menu item and I could have also just pressed E as it announced so I'll press enter here settings dialog view format characters no list item Okay, now I have a bunch of settings, and I'm going to press space 4 to go through the settings list. Read a unit, love read only, no list, I automatic save interval, auto scroll speed, 11 list, apply settings to all documents, home and move unit, new document name, no name, math code, Nemeth list item. And this is what we're looking for, math code. So I can press space here. UEB list item. To change it to UEB. I actually do want to change, or excuse me, I do want to use Nimeth, so I'm going to press space again to change it back. Nimeth list item. And I'll press enter to save. Options save. So now save. I'm ready to write in my document. I'll start it out just as I might if I was writing an assignment, so I'll just type my name. F-L-I-R. And I'll type maybe the class name, so we'll just do math101. Okay. And now I'm ready to type math. To enter and exit math mode, you use backspace M, so I'll type that now. Start Nimeth mode. And it says starting Nimeth mode. If I was using UEB, of course, it would say start UEB mode. So now I'm ready to type, so I'm just going to type some very simple math problems. We'll just do... Space, space, number four. One plus three equals four for our Enter. young, young students. We'll try something a little bit more difficult. Number two, two. Time, five, space. Four equals space. Number one, one, zero. Enter. And again, I just typed 22 times five equals 110. I can do things like square roots, so we'll try that. Y equals the square root of Start root. X. X. End root. Enter. We can also do fractions. Open fraction two over five. Close fraction times. Open fraction eight over six. Close fraction. Now I have to remember what I wrote. Space Y equals space one six over three zero. Close fraction. And of course, I could simplify that. Enter. Most of you know that pi r squared is how you figure the area of a circle. So we'll say that r equals 2. So we'll type pi, pi times, times 2 superscript 2 times 2 squared equals Wait, equal. 4 Super pi, pi equals okay, equal, equal. 2. Wait, 0.56. Okay, and we'll read it. Pi times 2 superscript 2 equals 4 pi equals 12.56. And there we go. Okay, now I want to show you a feature that we have currently in beta, and that is a graphing feature. So I'm going to go back to our y equals space, point, equal space. the square root, start root, x, end root of x. And this time, I'm going to press backspace, enter G. X, Y, limit 20. And Confirm it's, button. now it shows a graph on the screen, and you heard it announce X, Y, limit 20. This means that the X, Y axes have limits of 20 and negative 20. 
I can actually decrease or increase what the graph shows using keystrokes. If I press backspace dot six, X Y limit twenty four. It goes twenty four. X Y limit twenty eight. And now it's showing twenty eight. If I press backspace dot five, X Y limit forty eight. X Y limit sixty eight. And if I press backspace dot four, X Y limit one hundred eight. X Y limit one hundred forty eight. So it's increasing by different amounts using dots three and six it moves by four, using dots two and five by 20, and dots one and four by 40. Now I'll go ahead and decrease it using backspace one. X, Y limit 108. X, Y limit 68. X, Y limit 48. X, Y limit 28. X, Y limit 24. X, Y limit 20. And now we're back to confirm our button. default of X, Y limit 20. And I have a confirm button, which will allow me to actually paste this graph into my document. I'm doing all this in the graph dialog, and you do need to adjust it before you press enter to insert the graph. So I'll do that now. Blank. And now I'm back in my document, and the graph has been inserted. Let's try Enter. the opposite type of graph. I will do y, y space equals y e space x squared. X two. And I press backspace enter g. X y limit 20. Con confirm button. And I have the confirm button and I can do this. Y. We'll try a different type. Enter. This time we'll do y y space equals y equal space x Plus x, x plus 1, 10, 0. And again, we'll do backspace enter G. X, Y limit 20. Confirm button. Blank. Inserting image. And this time it actually announced inserting image. Usually it does it fast enough that it doesn't announce. Okay, we'll do one more and call it good. I'll do Y. Y. Space equals Wait, equal space sign I and space x x and we we'll, again we'll do backspace x, y, limit twenty and Con we'll, confirm button we'll confirm blank and there we go so this gives you a little bit of an introduction about how to set your math code type Nimeth math and do some graphs. And now I'm finished with math, so I can exit Nemeth mode in the same way that I entered it using backspace M. End Nemeth mode. And it announces okay. end Nemeth mode. And now if I need to make a note about these graphs, I can type regular text. So I can say Stop G -A -P -H -S. graphs A B D above. Or T -O -O -M 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 problems. O -M -M -P -H -E -H. And so I typed math problems for or graphs for math problems on page 189. 189. So in general, we are actually creating math inside the document. We do enter math mode, but we're not pasting images, etc., except for the graph part. But when we're typing, we are actually putting the math mode right inside the text. It's almost like you're changing the font, if you were changing the font in a Word document, except we are changing to mathematics. So everything is very well integrated. And now I can save the document with space S. File name, no name, not docs, edit combo box. And by default, we create a DOCX document. So I'm just going to do math, A -T -H. page, A -G -E -H. 189. And this I'm typing in computer braille and I'll press enter. Save it. Save complete. Blank. So that's all there is to it. Now the student can actually send this document directly via email or to a thumb drive, Dropbox, and it will look just like this. And teachers can also view it via TeamViewer. Right now we're just connected to HDMI. So you can do this several ways. So we hope this gives you a little bit of an introduction to how math works on the Polaris. And again, we will continue to create these tutorials in future. So thanks for watching.